Clark, Delaware. Here are Tiffany Scott and Philip Dulabon. And here's the team in third place after the short program. Tiffany Scott, Philip Dulabon, the 2000 U.S. silver medalist. They're their parents. Scott's on the right, the Dulabon's on the left. Well, they really want to make this world team. It's going to be a big disappointment for them if they do not. Skating to piano concerto number three in C major. They were making some mistakes in the warm-up. They need to stay focused not rush the timing on the jumps or the throws. And these are those side-by-side -side triple toe loops. Whoa. Very solid, good opening. This may set the tone for this program for them. Great way to start. The free skate, four and a half minutes long, worth two-thirds of the overall score. Oh, that's an unfortunate call right there. Just catching an edge in an odd way you go down so fast. And they're off. She oh. was tilted there. I think that breaks your focus oh. when you have a, an unexpected fall like that on something simple. You kind of anticipate falling on something difficult, but not just stroking around. And that just jolts you when it happens. Absolutely. I've been there. down and forget that happened and go on and now they are approaching their pro triple style cow back inside edge takeoff very nice sometimes a fall like that knocks some sense into you too <laughs> <laughs> here but Tiffany is from Hanson Massachusetts she has a lot of family and friends in the Fleet Center tonight watching on this throw double axle. Very nice. Good smooth landing, lots of speed. He's not high. throwing her too hard. So that's unfortunate, side by side double axles. partner falls like that you look back and you basically say oh no but you try to get back in unison as quickly as possible well they're not 100 percent healthy either tiffany twisted her knee in practice on december 27th she says it's still tender and phillips actually competing with a fracture in his left wrist which he's had for about a year he originally broke it when he was 17 and it just never healed correctly Backward out. 
outside death spiral. A freak fall at the beginning, and then another fall after that. Tough performance for them. Their parents, smiles on their faces. A lot of determination for this pair. They were the silver medalists last year. They went to the World Championships, finished ninth. They'd dearly love to stand on the podium and go back to Worlds. Tiffany Scott, Philip Dulabon. They had a fall on nothing really very difficult. Just skating along. Watch his right foot collide with the left, and down they go. She falls over the top of him. You just don't want to start your program like that. But then they followed through here. Throw triple Salkow. I like the distance it carries across the ice and a very nice position on the landing. There's a look at the panel of nine judges working here in Boston. The average years judging skating, 18 average years at Nationals, nine. That's an experienced panel, Peggy. Yes, and the required elements for this long program, they have to put in three to five different lifts, one to two throw jumps, one side-by-side -side spin, the and musical interpretation. Scott and Philip Dulabon for technical merit, 5.3, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5. And now the marks for Scott and Dulabon. As always, there'll be two sets. Technical merit marks, the first set, there they are. And these mistakes and their marks for hurting them to shore on the first mark. They have nice choreography in their skating. And these presentation marks indicate that. Presentation marks up to 5.8, so we'll have to wait and see how those marks for Scott and Dulabon hold up throughout the evening. Now there's 